The antibiotic crisis that we are currently experiencing is the surge of antibiotic resistant bacteria to which there are few or no effective antibiotics. Uh, we are seeing an increase in resistance to many of the antibiotics that have been developed to date and this is pushing us into a pre-antibiotic era where many of our strongest antibiotics are no longer effective. So you have these infections that were previously quite easy to treat but now they are very serious and potentially life-threatening. And in order to overcome antibiotic resistance, we are working on the development of new drugs, some of which are currently in clinical trials, um, but also the development of antibiotic adjuvants, which make previously ineffective drugs once again effective at overcoming bacterial infections. Antibiotic adjuvants can be separated into two main groups based on whether they one, target pathogenic bacteria, so these are known as class one adjuvants, uh, or two, target host defense mechanisms, and these are known as class two adjuvants. But within this class one um, of molecules, this, this group can actually be further subdivided into two groups known as class one A and class one B. So class one A actually target active resistance mechanisms, and, and often these resistance mechanisms are acquired, so the bacteria need to acquire a piece of genetic material to actually become resistant. Um, and active resistance, for an example of that could be enzymatic mediated resistance, where we have enzymes that chemically modify or um, break down the antibiotic, so it can become uh, ineffective, essentially. And what these adjuvants do is they target these, these uh, inactivating enzymes and inhibit the action of them so that the antibiotic can actually become free to uh, kill the bacteria again. And a well-known example uh, are beta-lactamase inhibitors. So beta-lactamase enzymes hydrolyze beta-lactam antibiotics and they're, they're a huge problem in the clinic. But what's really been a success are, are the combination of small molecules that inhibit these enzymes and you can use them in combination. Um, so within class 1B of the adjuvants, these are molecules that inhibit, uh, we call it passive or intrinsic resistance in bacteria. So, so this kind of resistance is inherent in the bacteria. They don't really need to acquire any material to, to, to be resistant. And a well-known example is efflux. So efflux in bacteria is a process where we have these large assemblies that span the bacterial membrane. And once the antibiotic actually enters the cell, the, the drug is pumped from the cytoplasm to the outside of the cell, and that's how you get resistance. And these pumps are actually able to um, mediate resistance to a wide number of antibiotics. So if you could inhibit these pumps, then you could actually potentiate or enhance so many different classes of antibiotics. So that's like a, that would be a really, really cool therapeutic approach. Um, so within class two of um, antibiotic adjuvants, uh, these, these molecules differ in the way that they actually um, target host defense mechanisms and quite a well-known example are immunomodulatory peptides that uh, have been known for a long time to enhance the antimicrobial activity of the uh, innate immune system. Um, so combined, uh, antibiotic adjuvants really are an orthogonal approach towards combating resistance and really might be a, um, a good a good approach to combat this uh, global health crisis. So antibiotic adjuvants offer an alternative um, means to be able to extend the life of antibiotics that we currently have. A lot of these antibiotics are still fantastic drugs if it wasn't for resistance. And so the adjuvant idea is really um, not in competition with new antibiotic discovery, but orthogonal to it, right? Another way to extend the life of these antibiotics, because without antibiotics, we lose all the wonderful uh, advances that we've had with, with modern medicine, whether it's chemotherapy or extending the, uh, the lives of uh, premature infants or any number of these things. Um, without antibiotics, we're transported back to what it was like uh, in the early part of the 20th century, in fact, through the most part of, of uh, the history of, uh, of humans, where, um, where we were really susceptible to infectious diseases caused by bacteria. So this, this strategy, the, adju the adjuvant strategy, offers perhaps new hope for our old arsenal of antibiotics 
and uh, and a way to preserve what we have um, while we're continuing to find new new ways to find new drugs.